This is my third year as the speech and debate coach here at Broken Arrow High School. Um, I actually did debate when I was in high school and had a pretty successful career. And uh, at some point in there, I was also a debate coach at TCC. So I've had some experience teaching debate, many different forms. The, primarily, the debate that we do here at Broken Arrow High School is Lincoln Douglas debate. We actually have a uh, storied history in doing cross-examination debate, um, but these days we're pretty much a rock in Lincoln Douglas. In speech and debate, there's several different competitions. I mean, obviously there's debate and then there's speech events, so you're not only going to have to do debate. I mean, there's acting events, there's speaking events, like giving a speech, so it's not just for people who like to argue. People who like to just give speeches could be in it too. I never talked to anybody and I was kind of like stage fright and all that. So just freshman year I just signed up and just try to get some more confidence boosted. What I love about debate is that we're all kind of like connected. It doesn't really matter if you have, you might have stage fright or something the first few weeks, but it kind of helps with that. I mean, I'm got usually a stuttering mess the first few times. Now I don't stutter at all when I'm talking publicly. I do tend to get nervous somewhat just because you don't know who you're going against. But then I kind of get um, nervous. Nerves kind of go away whenever you get confident with your arguments. And the best way really to not feel nervous is just to be confident with your arguments and you really have it set of, if I do this, then I know I can beat any argument they have. Just go to the high school on Friday and then rounds start about like just right after school and um, on Friday you have like four rounds basically and it depends on what event you do or what type of debate you do it can vary from different times so you just go through your four rounds and then at night it's like 10 o'clock and they'll announce whether you broke to go in Saturday rounds or not and so if you don't then you're just done for Friday debate if you do then Saturday you go in and do some morning debates and then Saturday is strictly also speech events so that whole day you could just go like three rounds all the way to finals and then you go you don't find out till you win until at the award ceremony which is at the very end of that Saturday day how it feels to win um, I mean it, it just feels like I don't know kind of like a round like it just feels really good on you because it feels like um, you're actually smart you're intelligent and you actually did something because you had to put a lot of work into the cases and so to actually win shows a good representation on yourself. We've got a really good squad this year. Um, last year we lost a lot of talent. We uh, lost the district champion, district, district and regional champion in debate. We lost a student who uh, was a state runner-up in humorous interpretation. Um, people who had been four years in the program for four years and did a really good job. But I feel like we've got some really strong senior members of the team, not senior in class, but older members of the team who are progressing as well as some new members of the team. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, the district that we compete in is the most competitive district probably in the nation. We had three national champions a couple years ago and for the past two years the national debate champion in Lincoln Douglas has been an Oklahoman. So um, when we go out to do debate, we go out to do it, you know, no holds barred. I was actually teaching drama, and uh, while I love drama and I love um, building characters and teaching students how to build characters and, and tell storytelling, one thing that, that I thought about is um, speech and debate affords me the opportunity to not only do that, but it also affords me the opportunity to teach students how to build arguments, to um, understand why does they believe something, to analyze the media to look at storytelling, but look at it in, from a different perspective. Sometimes the best debaters are people who are really good at telling the story. One of the things I tell a lot of my students is that everything that you believe is based on a story. And if you have the ability to tell stories and get people to believe them, that gives you a lot of power. This is really a class where I teach people how to maintain and hone that power. So this is my third year as the debate coach here at um, I almost said Booker T. Washington. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me try it again. <laughs>